Well, here's that nice small cauliflower I got. And here's some pines I got today as well. But since this is about cauliflower, the pines have got to go for about a minute. There we go, there we go. Now, let's get on with cleaning this up. So what you want to do with the cauliflower is you want to take uh, all these flowerette kind of things off like this and, and uh, break them down and separate them. You don't have to do it too small. Get all the pine needles out of here like that. Just like that. And then put them away, put them to the side. And uh, this is the only real good way to clean them. There we go, just like that. Just keep doing that. Just keep doing that. So there we go, we've broken all it all down and uh, taken apart in nice, nice sizes and uh, we've gotten rid of all the pine needles and all the foreign matter in there. And that, and then that just brings us to the stump here. So the stump, you don't want to waste as much any meat that you can avoid wasting. So you just got to scrape off the uh, little bit of dirt. It's 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 basically healthy soil. It's uh, composted forest, <laughs> so it won't hurt you or anything. Even a pine needle or two won't. But basically, yeah, you just clean it off like that. Keep doing that. Take that off of there. There we go. And uh, just get everything off there. And you can even uh, cut this down into pieces so it's easier to do. Just cut it into pieces like that. And uh, you want it to, you want it thin enough to dry out for the ones you're drying out and then the fresh ones you're gonna eat are, uh, it's okay, they can, that's fine. So there, that's good there. And uh, this is just about done here too. Yeah, but that's all you do, and uh, keep cleaning it up. So there we have it, one clean, fresh, beautiful cauliflower mushroom. And now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take half of this, and I'm going to cook it down fresh, like I cook down my chanterelles or anything, just to dry saute in the pan, and then add whatever flavoring I want at the end. Um, and the rest of the, the other half, I'm going to... Uh, dry it all out and save it for later and then I can put it in soup or something for later down the road. So that's basically what I'm gonna do. So uh, there we go, that's a cauliflower mushroom in a nutshell. So here's something really cool you can do with your uh, cauliflower mushrooms. You can take them and throw them into uh, hot melted butter like this. There we go. And then just uh, mix them up real good, get them all coated with butter, and then cook them down until they're a nice golden brown. So when they're all golden brown like that, they're gonna end up being a little crispy like bacon. That's, so those are perfect. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay them out on either paper towel or newsprint, like that, and let them soak up as much of the butter, excess butter and stuff like that. Let them kind of dry out more or less. Yeah, just like that, just like that, yeah. So while they're still hot, this is when you wanna put a little bit of salt on there. And then I'd flip them over and put more salt on, I guess, kind of thing. And if you want, you can put pepper on there or any herbs or spices that you want for your own personal flavor. And then just let them sit and cool down and absorb all the flavors, just like that. So when they're completely dried out and uh, cooled right down, what I would do is I would put them into a paper bag. 
as opposed to a plastic bag because you don't want them to sweat in the bag. You want them to stay nice and dry and clean and all that. And hopefully the bag will also um, absorb any excess um, butter and oils kind of thing. So there you go. There you go. Mmm, yummy. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Mm. <laughs> it's nice and crispy and crunchy like bacon. It tastes similar to bacon actually, but it's got its own flavor. Cauliflower mushroom. Oh, this is great. So you can use this for a trail snack while you're out hiking and that. Keep it in the bag and take it with you. Or you can just leave it at home and have a snack while you're watching a movie or something. This stuff is delicious, man. Absolutely delicious. Oh, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Hope you enjoy uh, foraging and uh, cooking your mushrooms. Mm, absolutely fantastic. Well, there we go. Ciao for now. So when we went uptown today, we uh, went by the post office and uh, found this in the post office. It's uh, to Baby and Me Tiny House on Wheels. So that's got to be a subscriber. And it just says it's from Alberta. Alberta. Huh, interesting. So we should check out and see what it is, eh? We should check out and see what it is. Huh? Watch yourself. Watch, watch. Get, get away from the knife. Yeah. Don't know who it could be. Don't know who it could be, yeah. There we go. Uh, oh, my, 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 my. What do we got here? What do we got here? A bunch of stuff here. <laughs> Looks fairly interesting. Looks quite interesting. Okay, we got black peppercorns in a, a container that's got a, uh, a grinder on it. So I can grind my own peppercorn. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. That's awesome. <laughs> that is pretty sweet. Well, we have some sort of pouch or something. Oh, it's a pouch. Uh, looks like it goes on your belt or something. Your belt. Uh, huh, interesting. It's from Ikea, anyway. Oh, it's a home for Tigger. <laughs> Hang him from my bookcase. That's rather cute. Just a note says it's a home for Tigger, so... That's what we do. <laughs> That's pretty cute. That's pretty thoughtful. Here, take your toy. You use your toy. Yeah, your toy. Here, toy. Go get it. Yeah, there we go. We can hang them on the wall or on my belt loop or anything. Yeah. Over my shoulder strap, anything. Take them along for the ride and that sort of thing. No, you leave it alone. There we go. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Pretty unique. A home for Tigger. That is so sweet. So sweet. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Okay, everybody go play with your own toys. Yeah, this is my turn. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That is cool. So I don't know what this is. Hmm. Looks interesting. <laughs> it's in a Ziploc bag. Cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Someone's uh, thinking of me for the winter time. Come on. Would you go play with your toy? Go play. These aren't toys, uh, baby. <laughs> anyway, they sent me a pair of gloves. Oh, these are really, these fit me perfectly too. Perfectly. Sometimes they're too small. These perfectly, but they're uh, outdoor gloves for my, the winter going uh, picking mushrooms or whatever outside. That's great. That's fantastic. That is really fantastic. Okay. Here. Go play with your toy. She doesn't want to. This is a fantastic little package. I'm going to read that in a sec because it's I'm not sure what that is. This is all wild and crazy. <laughs> okay. Starbucks. Uh, instant roast coffee. So I guess it's, it's a house blend. <laughs> So it's just instant coffee. That's perfect. That's awesome. That is really cute. That is really cute. <laughs> I'm so thankful. 
Oh, look. <laughs> this is actually rather funny. <laughs> it's actually rather funny. <laughs> Someone notices things out here in my channels. So I got uh, two brand new pillowcases. Because <laughs> I've got pillowcases, I just haven't put them on and I can't find a lot of them because they're buried and stuff. But that's cool. Pillowcases, we're going to have to put those on right away. Put those on right away. So here. Here's a card. Here's a card. So that's the end of the box there. That's the end of the box. That's cool, but first I want to check this. Oh, hey baby. Come on. There we go. <laughs> that is cool actually. That is cool. It says soup girl. Moroccan lentil soup. I guess they come in different uh, different types of soup and that, but this is a Moroccan lentil soup. Yeah. Vegan <laughs> makes eight cups of soup. Holy cow. I actually love lentils. I do love lentils. Yeah, and that'll be great. Great. <laughs> that is so cool. That is so thoughtful. So thoughtful of someone out there. I'm probably not going to find out who it is because it seems anonymous. <laughs> no, that's great. It says, not sure if you have allergies or to foods or not, which I really don't. I have no known allergies to any kind of food at all. Uh, but uh, they thought I might like this uh, lentil soup as a staple for my tiny little house. <laughs> and they're curious if I have a stash of dried food or not. Then if, if I don't, would I consider to have some food sources like dried beans and stuff? Yes, I actually do have food sources around. I got cans of uh, uh, refried beans, cans of refried beans. I got uh, cans of um, <laughs> uh, corned beef and uh, tuna and everything. And I have dried beans and peas and stuff like that. And dried mushrooms, of course. But I do, yeah, that's cute. They're yeah, thinking of me. That's great. That is so cool. So cool. That is such a thoughtful gift. <laughs> Very thoughtful gift. Those are going on right away too. So, next video you got to see those on. <laughs> now this is the little card that came with it. Oh, perfect. A sunflower. I love sunflowers. I used to grow them all the time when I had it in my garden. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. So it says, Kent, I was going to send this to you in the spring, but you ended up in the hospital with my severe burns and everything. Like that. Yeah, just a few things for the tiny house. Anonymous. Huh? That is so cool. That's so f awesome. 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 Anonymous. I kind of find I had a feeling it was going to be an awesome. Anonymous. But that is fantastic. I got to stick that card up in the uh, mantle up there at some point here. Well, that is great. A uh, little pup, pe uh, peppercorn grinder. That's cool. Some uh, lentil soup, Moroccan lentil soup. Instant coffee. That's perfect. Save me time. Gloves for uh, outdoors. <laughs> that's great. And pillowcases because my ugly pillows. <laughs> that is great. That is fantastic. Well, thank you very much, anonymous uh, sender, anonymous subscriber. That is fantastic. I really thoroughly enjoy them and I think this uh, little pouch for Tigger is just absolutely perfect. Very thoughtful of, some of you kind of thing. That's fantastic. And I do have snaps on here. I was looking at snaps so I can put it on my belt loop and carry them around with me where I go. Or I can just hang them on the wall somewhere or, you know, hang them in various places. Maybe you like to hang on the wall near us while we're all sleeping. <laughs> That's great. That is so so cool and so thoughtful. Thank you so much, Anonymous um, subscriber. That is so fantastic. And uh, um, I bet you can't wait to see uh, when I open it, right? 
Anyway, fantastic. Here, take your toy. It's not about you. <laughs> You're in the limelight. Well, someone's pulled the stuffing out of their own toy. <laughs> it's getting that far. Anyway, that was so cool. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, anonymous subscriber, I just thank you so much. Everything here is perfect and everything useful and stuff I need. Yeah, this is great. So I'm going to enjoy that. Um, every time I'm on camera, everyone wants to get in on the business. <laughs> there you go. All right. Okay, we've got to move on and do stuff. i got to make supper for the girls and for myself. And uh, there we go. Uh, great. So we'll talk to you soon. Ciao. <laughs> That's a nice blue color too, eh? That's a nice blue color too, huh? Yeah. Yeah, nice blue color. <laughs> and you, you're just a crazy little monkey. Yeah. Yes, you are. Yeah. There you go, Tigger. You can watch us from up in your little perch up here. <laughs> yeah, you can watch everything we do from up there. Isn't that cool? There we go. All done. All done. Yeah. All done. Okay, tally ho.